Uh, here you can see uh, the floor beam uh, in the basement. It's supposed to be a structural slab sitting on a void form. And I just want to show you how to create that void form as your own separate entity. Uh, this particular slab right now, if I go into edit, uh, it is shown <coughs> as a 200 millimeter slab with a 150 void form. And the, ma the material chosen for that is called the default, default form. Now if you want to make something more specific that says void form, if you look at our list we don't have that particular name. They use the term default form, but if we wanted to make one up that's called void form and we're happy with the settings, uh, I like the crosshatch pattern uh, both uh, in surface and in section, that's fine. And if I right click on default form I can duplicate that and I can call this, I'll just call it void form if that's what you'd rather have it show up as. So I say OK. So now it shows up as a void form and I say OK to that. It shows up as void form in our list still under the concrete slab. Say OK to it. OK. And now we've got that material.